Google is the king of search on the web, but if you try to use one of the plethora of search bars on a Google Pixel smartphone, then you're likely going to get a different experience on each one. For example, if we use the search widget at the bottom of the Pixel launcher, then it's going to want to do a search on the web. However, if you do the same search from the search bar at the top of the app drawer on Android 13, then you're likely going to get different results. That's because the search bar at the top of the app drawer also wants to surface results from within your smartphone or tablet. With the launch of Android 13 Beta 2, we noticed that Google had unified these two search boxes. This, this resulted in us having the ability to search through our device when using this widget at the bottom of the home screen on, of the Pixel launcher. Sadly, the stable release of Android 13 has disabled this feature, and we're not really sure why. Google could work to improve the feature a bit more, but it worked really well during the beta, so its removal is surprising to many of us. Thankfully, this feature hasn't been removed though, it's just been disabled via software. And that means with Android, we're able to turn it back on using a couple of ADB shell commands. So as an example of how this search differs, if we were to bring up a search on the Google search widget, then again, it's only going to want to pull up search results from the web. However, if we were to do this from the app drawer search, then it's going to pull results from your device itself. In this case, it's going to pull up a contact with the word tree in it. From here, we can also do a search on Google or even the Play Store. However, we're wanting to get that experience on the widget down here at the bottom. This process does not require root access. However, it does require you to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed. So if you're not familiar with how that is done, please look in the video description below for a direct link on how to install that on your PC. We also need to have USB debugging mode enabled on our phone as well. So you're going to find a link on how to do that down in the video description as well. So with all of that set up, let's go ahead and connect our smartphone to the PC with a USB cable. And then we're going to open up a command prompt in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. So again, we have the phone connected to the PC via a USB cable. And we can test this connection by typing out the command ADB space devices and make sure that we have a device listed right there. Now, as mentioned, we're going to need to drop into an ADB shell. So type out the command ADB space shell and press enter. That's going to bring us from this type of prompt down to a different type of prompt because now we're running commands from inside the device. Now the first command we're gonna to want to type out is cmd space device underscore config space put space launcher space enable underscore one underscore search space true. Now, this is a lot of stuff to type out, so I'm going to be including this in the video description as well. So you can just copy and paste it into your command prompt. With all of that typed out, we're going to press enter on the keyboard. And we should not get any error messages. It should just bring us down to another prompt from within our device. Now remember, we need to do two different 
adb shell commands here. So after the first one has been successfully entered, we're going to type out this second one, which is am space force dash stop space com dot g o o g l e dot a n d r o i d dot a p p s dot nexus launcher n e x u s l a u n c h e r so that whole command is a m space force dash stop space com dot google dot android dot apps dot nexus launcher and again i'm going to have this command in the video description below so it is easier to copy and paste than to type all of that out so again with that typed out we're going to press enter on the keyboard and again that should bring us to another prompt just like before without any error messages as long as we did not get an error message here then we are okay so with those commands put in now whenever we bring up the search bar down here we can see that this is going to search more than just the web so if we were going to type out photos we can see that we have the Google Photos app installed or we could do an actual Google search either from here or just by pressing enter. So forcing this unified search feature makes it easier to find what you're looking for using this search widget down here at the bottom, similarly to how you would be searching from the app drawer search box up at the top.